Okay, Nicole has the side cover. Very exciting step here. Yes. And those plastic guys are going to clip onto the top cover. We chose forest green. Yes, because we're in the forest. Come in here and hold this in position. Okay, while Nicole holds that, I'm on the inside tightening these wing nuts, which is building the pressure and holding that door sticker in place. So we can get some good tension with this wall liner as we stretch it around the perimeter of the yurt. Check out how this place is changing. It's becoming like a real home. Today, we feel more fresh. Nicole and I <laughs> worked too hard the last two days and we were burned out at the end of the day yesterday. So we put up the side wall cover, forest green, and we have to pull it tight today. We've had some really favorable weather for five days in a row, lots of sun and pretty much no wind and no rain. <laughs> so we've been really fortunate. Gonna get the side cover going nice and tight. Let's go. Okay, got it tight all the way around, and this end is just a piece of fabric just hanging out here. And once we screw it in to the drip edge, which is the outer perimeter of the platform, you guys saw Nicole and I build. Once we bolt it in, it'll pull this much tighter and better. And there's grommets around the entire bottom. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see it in this shot, but the entire bottom of the liner has these grommets so we can bolt right into it. Hey Nicole. Hey. <laughs> there she is right there. So unscrew this guy and... It already is, but this doesn't pull out. You just slide it in there, right? No, it pulls out. There's another door sticker in here that slides out. Bye. Bye. The way the manual says to do it is to take the side cover right here and wrap it around this door sticker and then slide it in and there's a gap in the French door frame with wing nuts on that side and the wing nuts just tighten it in place and so I'm gonna pull this as tight as I possibly can then start working the grommets. No that's actually gonna be good. Okay, I got this one and do the third one. Okay, third one's in. Tight? Tight. Okay. Okay, go for the top guy. I think that's as tight as I can get it and now we have to just screw the grommets in, all right? Yeah. All right, inside the yurt, what are we doing now? So the insulation, um, the window that they already pre-cut out needs to match this window, which is way over here. So we have to move this over. So when we put the insulation on, they told us to leave about 10 inches of overlap. So if this happens, we can just move it over easily. So, that's so 
this is kind of confusing for folks watching. What's actually happening here? We have an opening cut out of the yeah, so that insulation. Is, the white part's the insulation. Yeah, this is the insulation, and this is a window that they've pre-made into the outside side cover. They sewn into it a pre-cut fabric window. Hey, side note. Mm-hmm. Whose sweater is that? Um, it's my boyfriend's sweater. Oh my god, he must be a really generous man. <laughs> You're getting it. yourself when the wind flows through your hair You taste freedom as you fill your lungs with air The time has stopped your mind has set Hold on, we don't want to dump it, so hold it really secure. I don't know what it's gonna do. Honestly. Um, you have to go into it at a, like at the perfect angle. Okay. Nah, that's not enough. Hold it to block us. Hey. We have light. Thanks to our amazing YouTube fans. Yes. <laughs> What's that? There we go. Wait, wait, my finger. It's really good. Doesn't look like it's too far in or too far out or... No, it looks perfect distance from the side and then um, this part too. Let's screw it in. Okay. <sighs> in looks like a Canadian goose. <laughs> See the Canadian goose. Wow. Talent, babe. Talent. <laughs> Check it. Mm. 
Fresh air. Privacy. Shelving space. Dinner time. Nice fire. such a nerd. <laughs> I just got the windows all finished up and I need a drink. But I would always caution you guys about going to the store and buying cans of soda, bottles of soda, buying things that companies have marketed and pushed on you because these products you buy from the store do not have your health in their best interest. And I'm gonna get my own soda pop. Say about two thirds to one half fizzy water. The problem I have with like stevia sodas that are zero calorie and regular sodas that are full of coloring and sugar and stuff you can't even pronounce is that I feel like it's tricking your body into thinking it's getting something with nutrients in it, but then your body doesn't get to have any of the nutrients. Because when it's zero calorie and it's clear and it's got nothing in it, zero sugar, you're just getting a taste for your brain. You're not actually getting any nutrients for yourself. So, got the fizz and 100% pure pineapple juice. Of course, better if I grew my own pineapples, but doing the best I can. Now I've got a fizzy pineapple soda. If you guys buy the cans of soda on the shelf, I did the math yesterday, it's about double the cost as well. So you guys do stuff like this and you save half the money. Okay, you and I have been waiting for a long time yeah. to put the, the dome on the top of the yurt. Yeah. Thanks. The dome is like the last official piece. It's like the candles on top of the birthday cake. Yeah. 
That's kind of like a birthday cake. <laughs> it's like the finishing topper. I'm gonna tie it all together. So my question to everybody out there watching is, without looking at the manual, how would you take the clear dome and safely get it to the top of the yurt? Um, I'm interested in anybody's opinion of what we should do down below in the comments. Okay, here's what Pacific Yurt says to do. Dome skylight. Lay a blanket or cardboard on the top cover on the roof to protect the dome when sliding it into position. Working from scaffolding or a step ladder in the center of the yurt, toss a strong cord or a rope to a helper who is outside the perimeter of the yurt and have them tie it to the two eye bolts inside of the dome and have the person at the perimeter set the dome on the blanket or cardboard so you can pull the dome up the roof of the yurt to the center ring, then remove the cord. What should we do? We should do that. <laughs> okay, let's do that's That's what they said. <laughs> All right, then that's how it should be done. Okay. Got it? Yep. Good. Just hurry. It's heavy. Let me know when it's uh, when it's taut. Okay, it's taut. Okay, so can you push it up past the threshold of the corner? Yeah, okay. Hold on, wait. Yeah, perfect. There it goes. Okay, I got it now. I got okay. it. I don't have it anymore. I got it. Is it pretty light? Well, I'm... <laughs> actually nervous if the rope is going to take the weight. It looks like you're close. This one is tough because the configuration is interesting. It pulls up and down like this. This spring is up and down. But then the spring here is so tight, I can't get it down. These ones are easy because these ones just have a... It's like a guitar. And this is the bracket I'm gonna put on next here for the dome opener. But this one directly across from the dome opener, I just can't get it on there. Okay, I did a screwdriver to get it down on the eye bolt, and now I'm gonna try to just snap it on there. I got it with a few taps of the hammer. Yes.
Okay, it's so clear that it doesn't even look like there's a dome on top here. It's like, it's like a Tesla Model X with that IMAX style of view. And uh, when I twist this guy, check it out. This is the coolest thing ever. We're gonna have a big long stick that Pacific Yurts provided us so that from the ground we can just insert the stick into this uh, little slot here and open it, get some hot air to go out there and fresh air to come in and close it up. And... Swanky, babe, swanky.
A trip.